Today is the last day to check out the Potter's Market. It's the largest pottery sale of its kind in the country. And joining me this morning to talk about it all is Linda Ashley. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right, so you brought some beautiful items here. Tell us how popular this event is. I mean, you've got people from all over the state who come to this. Absolutely. This is the 37th year. It's the largest pottery sale of its kind in the country. And we have 40,000 pieces of pottery there. We expect well over 9,000 people. Um, we have our regular customers. They come every year. They get their gifts there. They get small things and big things. What's wonderful about that, if, if you love ceramics at all, this is a must-do every year. And, and it's a regular repeat thing. All right, you brought some samples here. What'd you bring us? Well, one of the first things I wanted to show you is this adorable cat. This is made by Julie Gannett, and uh, it's something a little different. We think of pots and what have you with ceramic, yeah. but this is all ceramic, and it's just so adorable and pleasing, and it has real cat whiskers on it, too. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. And, um, and in front of that is a dog, a teapot, which is also ceramic made with a cr sugar and creamer. That's just kind of a fun, engaging thing. And then moving right along, I love this wonderful piece. As you can see, it's a globe. It turns. This is made with an unusual technique called raku. It's, it's beautiful. Isn't it? It has yeah. that wonderful iridescent quality and the raku process is what makes that happen and this is by Stan Paker. He's a wonderful artist who's known across the state and across the country. And a miniature one here. And here's huh? a miniature one which is actually an ornament uh, that you can hang on the tree and it's $25. It's a great gift so I wanted to emphasize that we have all price ranges. There are th There's a special area for things from $5 to $30. All right, and what about the and, and this is a wonderful by Rosita Gunderlin Link. Um, it's such detail. That's what's so fabulous about this pot. It, the, it's called a petal technique, and actual little petals are, are just uh, carved into the piece, and little berries are then placed over it. And so you can imagine how much time it takes. And then, um, of course, this plate is one of my favorites oh, because it's the state of Michigan. Yeah. We love our state of Michigan. <laughs> and what a great gift this would be, or, or just for yourself, if you want to give a gift to yourself. <laughs> Why not? We can always and, use a gift for ourselves. And ourself, celebrate right? Michigan. And two more things at the end? Yes, we have. This is by Rod Lloyd, who, who does another unbelievable technique of, um, as you can see, he just carves right into the piece and does a lot of sand quality over it for, for feel, which is a big part of pottery. And then, of course, my favorite is Santa Claus. Can you believe this? this is actually a bell. Oh, it is. <laughs> I don't want to pick it up. Really it's kind of heavy, kinda but, heavy. It, but it's fun. And uh, it's, it's fun for decor or um, to use as a bell, it's too, a as a dinner fun. bell. <laughs> and tell us where this is happening today. This is happening at the uh, Food Commercial Workers Union Hall, which is on uh, Horace Brown Drive, just south of 13 Mile, between John R. John R. and Stevenson. It's easy to get to near I-75. And the hours? And it's 10 to 5 today. This is the last day. There's, but we always restock. 138 artists participate. 40,000 pieces of pottery. Oh, well, it's all beautiful. And it's important to point out that admission and parking are free, Absolutely so you can free. focus on maybe spending just a little bit on yeah. some of these uh, items right. here. Right? <laughs> all right. Thank you so. so much for joining us. Thank and we're going to have all the details for the Potter's Market on our website. WXYZ.com. Just check the scene on 7th section. Malcolm.